What up, Raph Leaders? Welcome back to my channel. This is where we are. We're on We are on David Rose Street in Houston. So David Rose Street starts in South Ramville Gardens and that's where the bank is. The so last time I did a video on David Rose Street, we were passing that new bank and I came all the way down from that bank intersection, that's the junction, right? That junction, we used to call that intersection where the bank is the junction in South Rambler Gardens. Come all the way down David Road Street to show you this neck of the woods. It's running parallel, David Road Street is running parallel to Heroes Highway. And I've actually shown you this street before when we looked at the Houston complex. But I want to come back here again and see how far they've gotten with the Houston complex and this development now when I came close to this I thought they were building a wall but it seems as if they're actually building a gutter so this is some land development that's a gutter it seems at least seems that way here this is some land development that's taking place here in Houston this is another warehouse so this is going to be like the warehouse district across the street there is that warehouse don't know what they do over there but it seems as if there's earth moving equipment in the compound that's g equip that's another warehouse where they're we're renting um earth moving equipment and down the way that's a third warehouse i think they're storing beverages over there just want to give you a reference so when we look at this GD equip warehouse from heroes highway it just looks like a a large low building but now as you get close to it you can see what they do here is they they rent this kind of equipment earth moving equipment right they have tractors komatsu um, Japanese branded equipment and so on so this is where we are David Rose Street and further down the way we've seen there are all their warehouses being built what I wanted to show you however is the development that's happening parallel to what's happening on Heroes Highway and what's happening out of sight of the highway. So on Heroes Highway, we've seen that they're building a new Sheraton branded hotel, Four Points uh, Hotel and Resort and Sheriff Mall and the headquarters for Guyana Water Incorporated. What you don't see from Heroes Highway, East Coast Bypass Road, is the development that's happening here on David Rose Street and in Houston, further west, that is closer to East Bank Public Road. So this is what is happening here. This is still vacant land. However, there's some development that's coming here. Now, I've actually shown you in previous videos what's being built at the Houston complex but in addition to the Houston complex this is somebody's putting up a another warehouse building huge warehouse building this is new I mean though the last time I was here a couple of weeks ago this wasn't here we hadn't started building this yet hadn't come out of the ground so since then apparently they've built a foundation and now they're putting up a frame you can actually see this from the you can see this from the heroes highway but it wasn't it wasn't here actually morning it wasn't here the last time we were here so this has been built in the last two weeks they've put up a huge frame 
and they seem to have already built the foundation for what seems to be another warehouse type building. And as time goes by, we'll be able to see exactly what this turns into. But for now, what you can see is a steel frame. It's going up and a lot of steel wire being stored. So remember where we are. We're on David Rose Street in Houston. And at this intersection that's coming up, it changes from Houston to Rome. The name of the, the village changes from Houston to Rome. And I guess it's still, you can still call it Houston, the, the larger area in general. You can see over there, that's what they're building. It's another warehouse. And this vacant land is also probably going to become some warehouse. Now here it is. Here's a map of the area. It shows land for lease. And it shows you a QR code. They say scan this QR code for aerial footage. So those of you who can actually see this will be able to scan this QR code. Let's say you're playing this on your television, you can scan it with your phone and you'll be able to see an aerial view of this area. So what they're showing here is the blue road, the blue line actually takes you to MacDoom. That's the road ahead of us, right? That line takes you to the East Bank public road, which is Mac Doom. And they're showing you that this Slumberger Guyana is out there in Houston. They're showing you Roxanne Burnham Gardens. And they're showing you that all this land is for lease. And if you wanted to lease land, you can contact Hans at GuyBisco.com or marketing, right? Marketing at GuyBisco.com. And there are some phone numbers there. So this is, if you want to lease land in this area, this, this land is actually being uh, developed now so that you can build on it. And this is actually a commercial area. So they're putting in, they're putting in drains and I guess building up the land because there's a lot of land in this area it used to be plantation land, some of it's swamp land. So that's an idea, that's uh, some information about, for those of you who are asking, you know, where I can build a hotel. People ask me, you know, where, where should I build a hotel? Turns out that land in this area is leased. For those of you who want to build a hotel or a housing development complex, this is the road we just saw. This one goes all the way to Mac Doom. We've actually walked along this road in the past. So we've actually done a tour of this road and we've gone all the way to Mac Doom. We just saw they're building these uh, warehouses quickly. Right, and in fact, the next intersection over there, that's just east of where we are, that is Heroes Highway. Just gonna take you down the next block here. Morning. And this is the canal. This canal actually followed it, goes all the way to Mac Doom as well. Right, this canal goes all the way to Mac Doom. West. And over here, they're developing the land again for lease and I guess for construction. I don't know who's building what over here. But in the last two weeks, they started putting up this seems to be more kind of a, what is this? Uh, yeah, they, I think this is also, they're putting in drains over here. So I don't know if this land is already leased, but it's being developed. The sort of place you'd probably put a housing complex or a commercial complex at. Remember we're in Houston, now just crossed over into Rome. This is another warehouse. This one you can see from the 
Heroes Highway we've seen before. Now I thought that the Houston Commercial Complex was going to extend all the way down here. It turns out that this seems to be another warehouse complex that's being built. I was going by the fence because the fence was the same all the way to the next intersection. But this is what's happening here in Houston and Rome in Greater Georgetown, Guyana. And as you can see, rapid development taking place here. Commercial development mostly, I guess, this area has been zoned for commercial development. And eventually, all of this, what seems to be open land, will be covered with buildings. And I'm showing you this now so that when I come back in a few months and it's covered with buildings, you'll be able to see and compare the before and after. Like this building over here, this has actually been built in the last month, last, well, three months, because a month ago it was just a frame and now they're closing in that frame. But three months ago there was nothing, so. And if you've been following this channel, you probably, well, since the last time I've made a video in this area, you've probably seen it before. So, this is what's happening, guys. It's happening quickly. It's changing rapidly. It's this development, massive development here in Georgetown. All right, this is an entrance to what I thought was going to become Houston Commercial Complex. But in fact, it seems to be another commercial building that's being built. There's heavy traffic now on this highway. Now what's changed is that more and more people, right, more and more people are using Heroes Highway. And so as Heroes Highway becomes congested, a lot of the traffic is being diverted into this road, this side street basically, that's parallel to Heroes Highway. And that's the argument I'm having with some people on this channel because they don't seem to understand why I'm asking for trains, why I'm calling for trains to be built. Because the more you build roads, the more congestion you get, right? The more cars people buy because they see, they see the road, open road, as an invitation to drive. So the more roads you build, the more cars people buy, and the more congestion you get. This is not something new. This is something we've known for over a hundred years, right? If you follow the development in New York City, all of those highways and parkways that were built by Robert Moses, is something that they observed since the early 1900s, right? Since 19, I think 1919, they've been, observing this. Robert Moses started building those parkways in 1920s. So in 1928, I think they completed, um, what was it, the Belt Parkway. So between 1928 and 1968, Robert Moses built all of those parkways in New York and New York City, the Bronx, Cross Bronx Expressway, Major Deegan Expressway, and all these places, Sawmill Parkway, all they were built in the 1900s. And they observed as the more they built those parkways, the more they built those highways, the more traffic congestion became, worse it became. And that's the argument, guys, that we need to build not only roads, but you need to build railways. You need to build trains. And you also need to build airports because as development takes off, more people will come. And the more people come, the more they want to move, the more they want to move around. You have to move people around. Now this is Houston Commercial Complex. Over here, we've seen this in the past. Right, this is Houston Commercial Complex. When, they first, when I first started looking at this complex, based on the fence, I assumed that they were going to repeat Right, they were going to repeat the complex all the way down the line here and just make multiple buildings like these two. It seems as if they've changed those plans and these buildings are not going to be repeated. They're going to build other buildings down the line. But that's what's happening here. This is the development of the Houston area. 
right, this is development of Houston area. And this neck of the woods, they're building more and more uh, warehouses and more commercial property. This is the Houston commercial complex. We've seen this in the past, seen this before. This is what it looks like now. I don't think it's open. But these are the buildings or the tenants here at Houston Commercial Complex. There is Global Asset Integrity and Maintenance, Management Services, Carib Lifts, CCA, Guyana Inc., Lube Tech, Massey Distribution, AVAA Holdings, CADL Guyana Inc., Engage Guyana Inc., Integrity Services and Logistics Inc., Bihari Restaurant Holdings. I think recently there's an announcement of the death, the passing of Chico Bihari. He is the um, he is the leader of the Bihari Group. Technical Services, Technical Integrated Services, Roof Systems, French Tradition, PHL Guyana Inc. Integrated Offshore Services, and so on. So, Waste Aid. So this is what is happening here at Houston Commercial Complex. I don't know when they're going to open it, but it seems as if people have already moved in, right? People have already moved in. I don't know if they're going to eventually be open to the public. And across the street, more construction, more warehouses, more development. That's what's happening in this neck of the woods, guys rapid development here in Houston a lot of the commercial property being constructed here um, has been telegraphed you know they've been telling us that they're gonna build these uh, this commercial area for a while and now it's taking shape and is uh, in fact changing rapidly this uh, building has been built recently behind it there are more large buildings going up and straight ahead more buildings going up and then on this side the street takes you back to heroes highway this is where they're actually building that major warehouse and advertising for storage those of you who need warehouse storage but this is what's happening guys like i said earlier in this video there's a sign that shows you a number and some email addresses that you can contact if you want to lease land in this area to build your hotel or your commercial complex or your residential complex condominiums so this is where it starts and it's happening very rapidly so those of you who are planning to get into the business and take advantage of the development this is where it's happening it's right across the street we are from this houston right this is houston commercial complex and this is i think rome turns into sagebrush Sage, sage brush, I think, is the next village. But this is what they built here. It's a warehouse building that's going up here in Houston. That's it, guys. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening in the fastest growing economy in the world, Guyana. Later.